Welcome back to the Maxify Getting Started video series. I'm Ed O'Connor Giles, CTO for Maxify. And in this video, we're going to run a base plan for your profile. This is where it really starts to get exciting. Uh, at this point, you've entered all your information on your base profile. So your base profile should be complete or as complete as, as you, you uh, need it for now. You've got all your information entered. And so what you're going to do to, to run your first financial plan is you're going to go to the report screen and here now I've already uh, run a base plan just a few minutes ago um, to prepare for this video this is a place where you you will look like if you want to get back to a report that you've recently run you can click on this but only do that if you didn't adjust data in your in your profile because it's not going to rerun your plan. It's going to take you back to a prior report. If you want to actually run your base plan, you're going to come down here to the base plan, uh, a run plan button, and we'll just click on that. It's uh, easy enough to, to do. And once very quickly, within a couple seconds, you should get to the base plan dashboard. And we're going to spend a little bit of time looking through this to understand what this is telling us. And I really highly encourage you to read the information that we have here. We've tried to um, give you all the information that you need to understand the report, uh, but it isn't immediately obvious, especially if you've come from other financial planning tools, because Maxify does work differently. The first thing you're going to see is that we've got a uh, lifetime resources and lifetime spending and those are basically equal. Uh, Maxify has figured out the amount you can spend in your life that will equal the resources that you're going to get in your life. You did not tell us much about spending. You've told us some fixed spending which is housing and taxes and things like that or we've actually calculated the taxes um, but the the real key uh, information here is that your uh, resources equal your spending and Maxify has given you the discretionary spending where we've calculated and are telling you how much you can afford to spend every year for the rest of your life and you'll see that down here in the discretionary spending plan where we tell you the annual amount that you can spend every year until your maximum age of life and typically what you'll see is that that that's this green area and that it is a flat line uh, here in the last two years one of the uh, individuals in the household dies and so that's where you'll see a step down. If you see that the line isn't flat and there's a step up in that discretionary spending, uh, typically that means there's a cash constraint in the plan. We have some knowledge base articles for how to resolve those cash constraints and, and figure out what to do about those and I encourage you to look into that. The next thing you'll see in the dashboard is the retirement account saving withdrawal plan which gives you some information about what we're doing with withdrawals from retirement accounts to support that uh, the spending plan and really critically the regular asset saving and withdrawal plan so this is really the engine of that uh, discretionary spending that smooth line that smooth living standard for you we are providing you Maxify gives you a plan for how much to save or withdraw from your regular assets every year in order to maintain that uh, smooth standard of living. So definitely take a close look at that report and see what it's telling you. Here you'll see the net worth report and then critically uh, what you'll see is that Maxify by default will spend your assets down uh, to the maximum age of life so that what remains at the end of life is only your housing equity. You'll see that there, there's no other uh, retirement assets or regular assets left at the end of life. That may or may not be what you want to do. There, there are ways to control that in the program, um, but uh, which you can learn more about here, but um, that by default that's what we do. Then you get to the uh, life insurance plan and Maxify is uh, telling you how much life insurance per uh, person in the household that, that you should have um, per year in order to protect that uh, s uh, smooth standard of living. So definitely take a close look at that. And then the last uh, one item we're going to look at is the year at a glance, which gives you information on cash flow for the year. You can see that in every year, because we're giving you that spending or savings plan, every year should total either zero, maybe there's a one dollar rounding difference there, but basically it will balance out. We've got your uh, your your cash flow balanced out for every year as well as for your entire life. And you can view more details on any of these reports by clicking on the buttons. Now for the next steps, um, 
we do highlight maximizing spending, which will run the maximization report or creating a budget. But I'd really encourage you first to make sure that you understand your base plan. Make sure that you have a solid base plan and that you understand what it's doing and you are comfortable with how it's working and that you make sure that you've reviewed all your inputs and that the, um, you know, particular housing inputs and spending inputs that you have put in there and make sure that it all looks right before you move on to some of these other reports. You really want to make sure that you have a solid base plan and a good understanding of what that base plan uh, is before you move on. Notice over here on the right hand side that you can drill down into much detail on these uh, uh, different reports. Um, for uh, the spending overview in particular gives you a good look at what is fixed spending versus discretionary spending. So that's that's one we definitely want you to study. And then Another place that people who really like to uh, dig into the details uh, will like is this year at a glance report, which lets you take uh, you know, a look at any year of the plan, and you can drill down here into uh, the details so you can really see exactly what Maxify is doing and what it's using. And a lot of people like to find here the taxes information. So you can drill into taxes. We have a lot of information about federal tax. We have very detailed kind of tax um, uh, calculations within the tool and you can drill down and see pretty much all the information that you would you would want to see about that so the last thing I'll point out here uh, before I let you explore on your own base plan is uh, a couple uh, tabs at the top there's the disclaimer of course uh, but the download button is where you can download a PDF report um, and We'll go ahead and take a quick look at that. You can also download uh, the Excel for the base plan uh, if you want to start. You know, m some people like to, you know, run some formulas or or take some of that information uh, from Excel, and that that gives you a good way to get at the actual numbers in the plan and uh, start to manipulate it yourself. If we look at the report, um, you can. Look look through this, but it's basically what you would find uh, on screen. But one key uh, place I want to point you to is that this does include all of the inputs that you put it in. Uh, so this becomes a nice record of the plan. So if you, um, before you make big changes or you just want a, a record of what, what information you had and what the uh, uh, Maxify uh, base plan came out as, this would uh, you might want to download that PDF report and save it. So that's a quick overview of the base plan. I encourage you to definitely read all the information we have. We have lots of embedded help um, and uh, become familiar with these concepts before you move on to some of the other more advanced reports.